IDEs used to be just fancy text editors, but then a team of AI researchers and engineers decided to change the landscape of the software engineering world by building a text editor on steroids. Behold, Anysphere, the team behind Cursor, the AI text editor. With a mission to automate coding, Anysphere is a small but a talent-dense team that has published significant researches and won Olympiad medals. Cursor was built using Electron with TypeScript on top of VS Code's open source core. It uses G GPT-4 and other AI models for generating and understanding code. It offers smart code completions, refactors, and all-out code generations for entire projects. And all of this for free, which is just amazing. To install Cursor, head over to their official website and download it. Once you open it, it will prompt you to import all your settings from VS Code. Let's try to use Cursor to build a calculator app in Flutter. Create a Flutter project the same way as you would in VS Code. Then go to main.dart file and select an empty line. Then hit Command plus L to open up the chat menu. This is where you can talk to Cursor with the context of your existing project. You can also choose which AI model you want for understanding and generating code by clicking this button. I have Claude 3.5 selected because it is the best in terms of coding benchmarks. Now prompt it to create your calculator app and Cursor will build your app in the chat panel. Once the code is generated, you should be able to scroll down and see the code explained and its features. It will also ask you if if you want to add more features. If you like what you see, you can just apply and accept the code snippets. This will apply the code to the suggested file which in my case is main.dart. Now hit F5 and run the app and you should be able to see that all of the features are working as expected. Let's ditch this app and see if Cursor can create a portfolio because I really need one. Enter the prompt again but this time I'm going to request a responsive app rather than a simple one. Once the code is generated, hit accept then save the file and run the app. Cursor generated what looks like a simple UI structure for a portfolio but what's interesting is that it also made it responsive. But this is boring. Let's test out what Cursor can do to generate code based on a picture. In the chat panel, simply drag a picture of a UI design for a mobile app and write a prompt asking Cursor to make it pixel perfect. Then hit enter. Cursor will then generate all of the code. Simply apply and accept the suggestions. Then run the app. It generated a pixel perfect UI with a lot of runtime errors but it doesn't matter because it compiles and looks good on my machine. Now let's give Cursor the ultimate test. I really don't appreciate code being bloated in just one file so I'm going to ask the AI to implement the architecture for this finance app using domain driven design and I also want the data to come from the repository layer. You should be able to see the models and repository methods being generated but what's more important is that it gives you the option to add generated code to a new file and then it also creates the folders and subfolders for these files. In the generated code, I can see some compilation errors so I'll fix those and run the app. The app runs well but if you may have noticed, this app has the presentation layer inside the main.dart file, domain and infrastructure layers in separate folders but it's missing the application layer. So let's prompt the AI to generate an application layer using block and convert our widgets from stateful to stateless widgets. Once generated, apply the code changes just like before. But this time, it also suggested me to import the packages in pubspec.yaml and run the build runner command in the terminal in order to generate the classes. Let's do that and copy and paste the freezed and build runner packages inside the pubspec.yaml and run flutter pub get. Then run the build runner command in the terminal to generate the freezed event and state classes. Now, as you can see, the code base now has stateless widgets and it is using the state object from the block everywhere to manage state. The project structure now has an application folder. If you run the app now, you should be able to see a loader before the data loads, which is awesome. All in all, Cursor is a great tool to start our new projects without the need to worry about all the boilerplate. It can also help you maintain and work on an existing project through code completions, refactors, and fixing errors. With this, I believe the paradigm of software software engineering is shifting, where in the future there would be less time spent on coding and software engineers will get to focus more on the creative stuff rather than fixing the bug on line 404. I built a Flutter app, but really you can use Cursor to build for any language and any platform. But beware, I've already gone past my free limit for this month, and you can read more about the free limitations on their official website. Let me know in the comments what you built and how did it
generated code with cursor. As always, I'll leave the generated code on my GitHub so you people can use it for greater good. I hope you learned something new in this video and I'll see you in the next month.